Hey everybody, Chris Okitsune here, and we are doing not the normal video that I do for the weekend. Um, normally the video that you get today is uh, Honey Pop, but I kind of wanted to take a break from that for a little bit because I didn't want it to go too fast. I've already did like eight episodes of it, and it's sort of like... I mean, we're chugging through all the girls. We're either winning dates or losing dates or whatever. So I'm thinking it's getting kind of boring um, to have that every weekend for you guys. Well, for me, I'm recording it today, but you get it on Monday. Um, but I thought it would be interesting to do something a little bit different. And so since I started with a Pokemon, or a old um, Nintendo game of Mario, uh, Mario Brothers 2 Six Golden Coins, I thought that I would pop up a more recent Game Boy Nintendo game. Um, this is for Game Boy Advance, if you're not familiar with it. Of course, almost everybody's familiar with Pokemon since the release of Pokemon Go, which I cannot get from my phone because it's the wrong version of, of, the, of the Android. It's 4.4.2 and you're supposed to have 4.4.4 4 or higher and I don't so I can't run the damn thing. I would have to get like a, a more recent phone in order to do that which I'm looking into but uh, it's not necessarily just for Pokemon Go because I mean that's a bonus but I digress. Anyway so I figured that I downloaded I downloaded this a couple days ago around the same time that I did Pokemon um, Pokemon. Mario and Kirby, just Dreamland 2, and some other ones, Harry Potter and stuff like that. And I thought that I would do this instead of the other uh, regular, which is the Honey Pop. So we'll get back to Honey Pop eventually, but just for today, I didn't really want to play Honey Pop. So I thought I would go ahead and play Pokemon, and we'll do a little series of Pokemon. So now when I get uh, click on this... You're not, it's frozen, it's paused right now, so when I click onto the actual emulator, it will start playing and you'll see the game. And we'll choose the gate, the characters, and we'll go through and catch some Pokemon. And we'll do some of the quests, or, well quests, but go around, collect Pokemon, do some of the gems and things like that. Um, I wanted it to be like an extensive series, but I might like skip ahead a lot because... I know, like, grinding and Pokemon training and stuff like that is tedious, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started with that. Um, the International Battle- oh, this is just dumb shit. So this is an emulator, it, um, uh, new game. But since this is an emulator, it's a little bit different. So this is Professor Scrap, right? Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. I got the Sprout is the other one. Uh, Sprout is from Gold and Silver, I think. My name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call Pokemon. Yes. This is the world of Wiley, inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We human Pokemon, Salmon Pokemon, blah 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 blah, etc. etc. Wes, we know. If you played red and blue and gold and silver prior to this, then you already know the whole spiel. Come on, jeez. I am a girl. I am a girl. Alright, what's your name? My name... We always do this name. I always do Kitsune because it always fits. Okay, you're Kitsune. He's moving to town a little rude. Yeah, I get it now. Are these professors like really stupid or something? No. Like, like, on the very first game of Pokemon, you have, you know, Professor Oak, and he's like, my, my grandson Gary, or my grand- <coughs> My grandson, what is his name again? Like, uh, if you don't know the old, the old, the name of your only grandson, you have problems. Sorry about that cough there. I was doing good there for a minute, but it just sort of crept up on me. And that's dangerous, by the way. You shouldn't have kids 
running the back of a moving van with a bunch of boxes. That's just asking for trouble. I mean, not only would you possibly get, like, any sudden stops, or sudden, not stops, but sudden, like, movement forward, would send all those boxes crashing onto your head. So, kids, do not ride in the back of a moving van with a bunch of boxes. Okay, so... We're in Little Root Town. So... Blah blah, blah 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 What I kind of find funny about these houses... Most of the houses in the Pokemon game... Yeah, 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 shut up. Oh. Okay, no, shut up. Okay, so this is the living area, alright? So you've got dining room plus, I guess, living room, dining room together, plus kitchen, and then you come up- <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, come upstairs, and it's just one room. Right? So where does the mom sleep? It always got me like thinking because it's like uh how does that work i mean the whole room is for her it's not like even split into like two rooms or anything like that i mean you have like all this like bare space over here i mean you can like like wall this off to like this point because then everything comes into this area and then you have room for a whole other person this is a waste of space you just have this big old carpets in there, and it, another bed can go in this room, and your mom could sleep on it for fuck's sake. Whatever. Um. Having uh, a keyboard to be relevant. Fuck the stop. Better set it and start it. Not that it's gonna do any good. Okay, so not that it's gonna do any good because it doesn't run. I mean, the actual game would run on. Still a waste of space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, dang it. I'm gonna get to get some shit. Okay. Um so when I first put when I first played this game, it was a much better improvement from like the actual like, Pokemon Red, Pokemon, uh, Silver. Or, I had Blue and I had, I had Gold, so... But I didn't have anybody else that I knew that had the game, so I couldn't, like, trade people. The only thing I could do, though, is I could trade over Pokemon Red and Blue over to my, uh, Gold and Silver, I think. And then I could trade once from the little silver over to crystal because I had crystal also. But I had like a regular Game Boy and then I had Game Boy Color and then I just got a Game Link cable and did it myself. So I was my own trader, my own trader person. I mean, I know this is boring right now because we're just getting through all like the intro shit, but um, that's the beginning of the game and once you get used to, or get past all this shit, then you get into the boom bones of it. Friend 
London! Arrival! Police Professor Birch didn't ask me what his son's name was. That would have been awkward. So the Pope Book Professor isn't actually in his office right now. Quite a mighty eater or whatever. I am getting tortured. Because I like tortured. Almost every time that I get, um, Pokemon, the first Pokemon is always a fire type. Now I'm not going to try to impress you and name all the fire types starting from uh, first gen to the last gen because I can't. I mean, I know uh, uh, Charmander, and then you had Cyndaquil, and then you had Torchic, and then you had some other ones, but like, what was it? And it was the fire monkey, and then it was something else. But the thing was, though, is that I didn't like M4, the one from, because Tepig looked cute, um, and I liked Tepig, but when it evolved into, like, a, um, leave uh, one of those Mexican fighter people, it just kind of, like, was like, no, I didn't really like any of the, the starters in that game. It was like, black and white for me was just kind of like the ultimate slap in the face for all Pokemon trainers because it was so, like, it just seemed shitty to me. I'm not reading any of this dialogue because I've read it all before. If you want to, like, read along, go ahead, but I'm just, like, kind of, like, blanking out right now. Um. I don't want to. Okay, cool. Are you gonna give me anything? I thought you stopped playing games or something. Okay. <clears throat> so now we get to go out on our own, finally, and catch Pokemon, but we don't actually have any balls or anything right now. Um Yeah, we don't have any balls or anything. So we can't actually catch anything. <clears throat> Um, getting back on, on what I was talking about. To me, Pokemon uh, Black and White. I was like excited for it because they showed like some really neat Pokemon in the game, in you know the teasers and stuff like that. But then like you get into it, and even though the like the style was a lot different, and you got like more stuff to do and and everything, it just kind of seemed very. <coughs> <coughs> it just seemed very bottom of the barrel dish to me. And what I mean by that, it, it means, like, they were running out of ideas, and they had to, like, been smoking something to, like, come up with the shitty Pokemon that they had for Black and White. Then, like, after Black and White, like, X and Y had, like, some really cool Pokemon in it, and they have Sun and Moon coming out, and some of the Pokemon there look okay. But, like, what was wrong with Black and White that made them, like, come up with some of the dumbest Pokemon? And by dumbest Pokemon, I mean, like, Friggin Trubbish, which is a goddamn trash bag. If I always keep telling my friends, I'm like, ever since Black and White came out and I was like saw that there was a garbage bag with one, I was like, if a fucking garbage bag came at me, I would like not catch it. I would like like set it on fire. Because I mean that's just like fucking scary shit. I mean like all these other things are like a little critters, you know, they're like like cats and cat-like things and dog-like things and things like that. So that's fine. I mean, they're animal-like, so it's not that much of a stretch to have, you know, these animals coming at you and, and whatnot. But to have a bag of garbage, like, rise up from the can 
and like come after you, you're like freaking the fuck out. If that had happened in real life, if I like went into the kitchen and then all of a sudden this bag of garbage starts like rising up out of the trash, I would think it was fucking possessed or some shit. And af after that one, a couple other stupid ones was um, were Buffalant. I mean, you already have Tauros, so what do you need fucking Buffalant for? It's just a fucking Tauros with an afro. And, um, another one was, uh, Chandelier, or, and Litwick, and, and that whole series. It's a candle, with, you know, it, it's cute, Litwick is cute, but it has, like, it's just a fire, it's just a candle. When they start making inanimate objects, oh, come on. That's, like, going a little bit too far. And they had, like, in one of the newer gens, I think they had, like, a set of keys, with, like, Clinker or something like that. I don't remember, but I mean, there are some stupid ones in the later gens in X and Y. There was Aegis or Aegis Slash or whatever, which was a sword. Um, a set of swords. It was one sword and two sword, or no, one sword or short of the shield and then two short swords together. So, I mean, that that's stretching it, I think. And I'm like going off on a tangent because, I mean, to me, it just seems like. They could do better, honestly. With so many like creative people that are out there that can create, like, mix a couple animals together for fuck's sake, and then like make your own animal, which is what you do anyway. So I have to go back into town. Get the Pokedex. Yeah. See, I wasn't even paying attention to the goddamn uh, kid. I was just like, you know what? The stupid bus game. <laughs> Most of everything. Um, but I got X and Y, and X and Y, I got Y, so I got the all. But it was just I'm probably pronouncing that wrong too, but. <coughs> <coughs> But I got... I like the 3D-ness of it. So, that kind of made up for all the other dumb Pokemon that were in there. But, to me it's just... Pokemon has been going on for 20 years. So, I mean... It was fun back in the day because it was new, it was exciting, you know, so many people were into it, and it was just like... Things are more exciting, I think, if you don't do, like, a new game, like, like every year or something. I mean, yeah, I know, like, between, like, uh, Sapphire and Ruby was a while before they got into Diamond and Pearl, and then Diamond and Pearl was a while before they got- So, I mean, like, I know there was, like, a couple year spans in between, but then, like, between, you know, what you have- when they first started in 98 for us. I mean, 95 in Japan, but we didn't get it to like 98 or whatever. So, I was like... I got into it because of a kid that was around the house, you know, our neighbor's kid. And I got into it then, and... I was like, cool, this is cool, I like this. But I got into the trading card game first. And then I found out there was a game, so then I got the game, and then I found out there was... Uh, anime, and so they got into that. Um, but I collected all the games from Pokemon, sold them back after a while because I was like, I didn't want to play them anymore, and they don't really have a replayability factor. I mean, once you get past like the gyms and everything like that, and you beat them, there wasn't really anything else to do except for like going back through the gyms and getting like. Pokemon after Pokemon, out, or you could get Pokemon and stuff, but uh, if you collect them all, then that's fine. Some people are completionists when it comes to that, and they actually collect all the Pokemon, trade them, and get the ones that they can't get in the game. But I wasn't really that much of a completionist. I just wanted to get through the game, beat the gym leaders, beat the Elite Four, and then. Um, and then that was it. In red and blue, basically, for blue, what I did basically was, after I beat the Elite Four once, 
I had like level 100 Pokemon because of the glitch. If you don't know what the glitch is, then you're living under a rock. But there was a glitch that you could get level 100 Pokemon and missing no and everything like that. But if you got missing no, you ended up corrupting your files a lot. Um, but I liked Crystal because Crystal gave like an additional way to uh, collect Suisu. But for me, those kind of games were kind of like, like, like also kind of like slap your face because it was like, okay, well we put out gold and silver, and you can you know get gold and silver and you can play you know it all the way through. And then we'll come up with crystal, which has one extra thing in it that if you want to see, you have to buy that game, etc. etc. So I have crystal. The only thing that I think added to crystal was the battle tower and a different way to uh, catch Suisu. So there wasn't really that much difference. And then same thing with they had diamond and pearl, and then they had <clears throat> platinum or something like that, which did like I guess the same thing. I don't know, but um, just a, a third Pokemon that you can catch. And then with uh, black and white, they had black and white, and then they brought up black and white two, which was basically just like a couple years later after the original story. So it was just kind of like uh, why? I mean, I have black and white too, but. Um, to go from like 2D to 3D was kind of like a really big change because when I got X and Y for the first time and I was playing it, I was like, wow, this is cool, you know, you get to see everything in 3D, da 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 da. Then I like went backwards and I played uh, Black and White 2. And I was like, and everything was 2D and I'm like, oh my god, it's like, it's like it's culture shock almost because it was so different. So I'm gonna, keep, I'm just keep talking, I'm, I'm not gonna even, uh, so I'm going to save this game here, um, I'm going to pause it essentially because it's going to pause when I do that, um, and the sound's going to go off and everything. Um, <clears throat> so we've wandered around for 22 minutes in this world because most of it was all dialogue and shit, um, but I don't want you to miss out on the very beginning parts because <clears throat> I want <clears throat> you to see like the very first Pokemon that I get. Usually you get like a Pidgey, a Rattata. And those are like the basic two that you can catch. You might get Weedle or Caterpie, which are good if you like grass Pokemon, but usually I get Pidgey because later on he'll learn Fly and then he can fly you around. Um, Rotata isn't really good because when you get Redicate, it doesn't really do much. So I usually end up switching him out after a while. So basically, Rotata and Radicate are, are only there for. Pokedex entries basically and so um but yeah I do want to get a Pidgey and I want to get some of the others so we'll come when we come back we'll actually do that experience I'll show you you know the process of catching those Pokemon but during the remaining of the series I probably will do like um grinding off camera especially when it comes to like doing gyms and things because if we do gyms and you need like you know a certain level or whatever you don't want to sit there and watch me grind to get higher levels so <clears throat> that I'll do off camera but everything else that's interesting like the actual gym battles and whatnot will be done on camera so uh, that will be the end of this video it's running way longer than I usually do my videos but we had like a lot of dialogue and a lot of back and forthy stuff to do at the very beginning um, but <clears throat> if you like this video, give it a like and share with your friends. And be sure to leave comments down below. I haven't been saying that lately. Um, but leave comments below. Um, if you like the series, I'll keep doing it. Um, <clears throat> I might do like a couple more videos of it um, until I find out that people aren't really liking it and I'll probably just drop, off, drop it off. But if people are starting to watch it and like it, then I will keep going on it. So look forward to more episodes of that if that happens. And look forward to seeing my hair a different color because I mentioned in the last video that um, this blonde isn't going to stay. It's actually going to be pink tomorrow because I have more time to actually do it because um, I don't record tomorrow. So, a lot, almost 25 minutes, so I'm going to cut it short and I'm going to say have a good day. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and all that stuff. Everything's down in the comments below. So have a good day, everybody. Goodbye.